Marshall with the Better Business Bureau is here today with us to talk about Halloween safety during a pandemic. Bryce, welcome on the show. It's hard to believe Halloween is just a couple days away and uh, it's going to be a different Halloween this year, right? Yes, for sure. Halloween is going to be, you know, it's one of the most celebrated holidays in all the United States. And now with the pandemic going on, everyone is unsure if they should go out or not. And the CDC does not recommend uh, regular door to door trick or treating. Uh, but if you do, there is a few steps you can take to make sure that uh, you're, you're you're going trick or treating COVID free. OK, so what does the Better Business Bureau kind of recommend if you are deciding to go out and celebrate this year? So the first thing we recommend is to wear a mask. Uh, this has been implemented everywhere, but make sure you wear a mask. Uh, even if you're wearing, let's say, a Halloween mask, uh, make sure you wear a CDC approved mask even underneath it. If it messes up your regular costume, maybe go as a as a neurosurgeon or a nurse or something and to go right perfect with it. Yeah, you can uh, be creative. There's a lot of opportunities this year to be creative with a mask. Right, for sure. Yeah. And uh, the second one we'd say is to sanitize. And this goes two different ways. Uh, first, you could always sanitize in between each each house that you visit. If you're a homeowner, you could set out a bowl of candy and put a little thing of hand sanitizer next to it, and that way it could take care of itself. Oh, that's creative. I didn't think about that. Um, what else is there? Uh, I guess next on the list is stay six feet apart. Yeah, so stay six feet apart. That's also been implemented for a while. But once you're out in the neighborhood, I always see well, I should say last year and the years before, you see large, large groups of, of kids trick or treating. So this year, make sure you stay six feet apart. Just go with like close friends and family. Maybe smaller groups this year as well. Right. And then the last one, uh, what is that? And the last one is make sure that uh, whenever you're going out and you're trick or treating, make sure you try to come up with some creative ideas as well. And we also say only accept factory wrapped candy because we've seen in the past years where people will hand out cookies, they'll make popcorn, all kinds of different trick or treat stuff that's not normal that you can just get at the store, which adds great things, but also germs are in the air and you don't want to get COVID from someone you don't know. So make sure you just accept factory wrap candy. So stick with the Reese's, the Butterfingers. It's fine with me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bryce, thank you so much. We appreciate you be being here. All great tips. Thanks so much. Thank we'll you. be right back after this break with more news and weather. Please stay with us.